Hello, this is Justin. And this is Riley. And today we are going to be talking about the new DC movie trailers that launched yesterday. Uh, I watched them yesterday, but I just now kind of we, we're just now kind of deciding to do a video on them. Just so, uh, yeah, because we're smart. <laughs> uh. First off, I guess we can talk about Black Adam. Uh, what 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 are your thoughts on Black Adam, Riley? Well, um, the thing on his chest kind of looks like Shazam. Is is um is there any correlation there? Uh, I know very little about Black Adam myself. I have I I do not know. It but if, if it is, it says he's part of the Marvel family. Hmm. Interesting. So, it says he's. He's um He's the arch enemy of Captain Marvel. Oh, oh, that's be that's before Captain Marvel went to Marvel cuz Yeah. Originally it was DC. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I mean Yeah, no, or, yeah, originally Shazam was called Captain Marvel and then they changed the name and Marvel wanted the Captain Marvel name. So Got it. All right. That's a interesting yeah. fact. Dwayne yeah. Johnson, what do you think about that? Uh, you know, I think it's a fun choice. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I think I think it'll be f a fun movie to watch. Yeah. Uh, it seems to me that a lot of the new DC movies that are fun are the only good ones. Yeah, because I actually really enjoyed Shazam, and I, and even though like it, you know Aquaman wasn't technically a good movie, I had fun watching Aquaman. So. <laughs> Well, Aquaman is rated DC's best movie besides Shazam since The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, I mean it's certainly Rises better than 2012. So isn't that yeah. kind of sad? Yeah, that is kind of sad. Yeah. I mean it certainly is better than Suicide Squad, Man of Steel, or the dumpster fire that was Justice League. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> Wonder Woman is ranked one above Aquaman, and then it's Aquaman. That's still sad. Really? Well, I mean, Wonder Woman was a pretty good movie, too, so I enjoyed it a lot. I think the worst the worst that this DC Universe had to offer was Batman v Superman and Justice League, the original theatrical cut. Yeah, um, so what's the difference between the Zack Snyder cut that's coming out soon and the theatrical cut? Do you know? Okay, so basically, Zack Snyder was unable to complete the uh, the original Justice League movie because his daughter passed away. Oh. So Joss Whedon, who directed Avengers 1 and, and uh, Age of Ultron, came in to finish the movie. But a lot of people did not like just the, the original theatrical cut of Justice League. For one, because it was super rushed. Like, it was obvious it was rushed. Yeah, it's two, only two hours long too. That that is very short for a movie like that. Yeah. Two, it was not true to Zack Snyder's original vision for Justice League. And three, what the fuck was going on with Henry Cavill and the CGI <laughs> erasal of the mustache? That was that was weird. But my my I'm kidding about that one. But the actual three I wanted to say was. You had two conflicting voices coming through it because Zach's, parts of Zack Snyder's script was still in the movie. You know, like, it was still mostly what he wrote. But Josh Whedon did his own Josh Whedon-isms yeah. in the movie. So, like, it's two conflicting and drastically different approaches kind of conflicting with each other. And that's why I think is the biggest problem with the theatrical cut. I've, I've only seen 20 minutes of Justice League because I realized... Um that I was starting to hate DC. So I just turned the movie off and I gave up on them. Uh, I saw that movie in theaters and it was that smart. It that way you wouldn't walk out. <laughs> it, it was a, it was a pretty bad movie. I was not impressed. There were certain things I thought were kind of fun. Like I liked that. It was a bit more lighthearted. I liked, uh, I liked cyborg. I thought he was an interesting character, but that was about, it for me and also i kind of thought wonder woman and ben affleck's batman actually kind of had a fun chemistry on screen for some yeah. reason do you like ben affleck's batman 
I think he's cool. My only problem with him is that he kills, and Batman doesn't kill. See, that's what I'm saying too. I'm fine with him being the Batman. I'm not fine with how they made him. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fine actor. He does a good job in the role. I don't like how he was written, especially in Batman v Superman. Yeah. So, what did you think about the Wonder Woman 1984 trailer? Oh, you know what? I think it's a lot of fun. I actually am looking forward to that because I I loved the first movie. Uh, I'm a little confused as to how Chris Pine's character was <laughs> able to come back. But I'm looking forward to figure out how they explain that. Yeah. Um, oh, really uh, there... The yeah. There's one other important detail about the Justice League Snyder Cut I have to bring up. And that is that this is actually going to be a four-hour venture. It's going to be broken oh. into four. It's going to be broken into four parts on HBO Max. So like it'll be broken into four episodes yeah. basically, and they're all going to be an hour long. So it's going to be basically a four-hour movie. That is insane. Yeah, that's why I'm actually kind of optimistic about this because they that gives time to develop the no, characters definitely. more. Um, yeah. I think, I think I'm going to check that out then. I yeah. Seen the other Justice League, but I'll watch that if it's four hours. Yeah, and everything in that trailer for Justice League, mo mostly everything was brand new stuff. Like a lot of that just wasn't even in the original cut. Like, yeah. uh, I was watching some other stuff about this movie, and they originally shot Superman with the regular blue suit, but in post production, Zack Snyder decided to change his suit to black. Because they wanted to do pay uh, tribute to what happened in the comics. Because in the comics, when Doomsday kills Superman, Superman comes back in the black Superman costume. Yeah. So they decided to do that in the new in the Snyder Cut of Justice League, and I think that's actually super cool. I can't wait for that. Yeah, so you just convinced me to get really excited for it, and I haven't been excited for a DC movie in a while. I'm not even excited for the new Wonder Woman. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of indifferent about Wonder Woman. Like, I think it looks, it's going to be good, but I'm not, like, ecstatically excited for it, if yeah. that makes sense. I'm watching the, the, like, 2017 one in theaters this Saturday. I've only seen an oh. hour of it. I watched it with my mom a long time ago. I need to rewatch it again, to be honest. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, um, it, what, go on. What are you going to say? I honestly I'm forgot all I was going to say. To say. Like, DC really is changing a lot from 2005 to now. They're, they're just on a big downhill. Honestly, I think they were on a downhill, but now they're starting to pick back up again because... I, uh, I don't think it, they're starting it, to pick back up. I think that they're starting to put more movies in. Yeah. Well, what happened is we went from Man of Steel... Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, and Justice League, which were all terrible. With Wonder Woman being good, somewhere in the middle of there. And then all of a sudden... Yeah. And then all of a sudden you get Aquaman, Shazam, and Joker, which are all fantastic oh, movies. Yeah, you know what? Think about it that way, you're right. Yeah, because, um, I mean, Aquaman, definitely in the good group. Joker, just outstanding. And then... Um, Shazam, great movie too. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's why you gotta look at the facts, and you have the facts right now, which overturns what I said. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I was able to get you to be more optimistic about DC, because I'm actually really excited about the future. And I'm actually looking forward to the Snyder Cut, because, oh, yes, yeah, Zack Snyder has failed me a little bit with Man of Steel and with Batman v Superman. We'll make but a video about that. Yeah, we should. We definitely should. But I think there is a lot of potential with Justice League. I think the fact that he's being able to complete his vision and the fact that it's going to be four hours long and that might give more time to explain things better and develop the characters better and really spend time with them and get to know them. I think that it, this version might actually work out really well. Yeah. So it has a lot of potential. All right, so um, Christian Bell's Batman says, I'm Batman, in the exact same tone of voice as the new Batman says, I'm Vengeance. What do you think about that? 
I want him. I I have a feeling. First of all, I thought it was cool because in one of the more popular lines from Batman is "I am vengeance. I am the Dark Knight. I am Batman." Yeah. That. Yeah. I am. I hope that they finish the quote at some point in the movie. Like, if he just says, this is vengeance, I'm going to be like, well, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I guess that's a good segue. That's a good segue to talk about the Batman trailer, because that is the one that everybody's kind of buzzing about more than anything else right now. So, what, what do you think is the... Is it the Riddler? Yeah, it's the Riddler. What do you think is his motivation in this movie from what you've seen in the trailer? You know, the movie gave away so little. I am not hundred percent sure. What do you what do you what do you think is going on here? Well, um, there's a drug bust, and let's see, it's talking about liars, and it says Don's done it again. Then it has tons of other political magazines, like King Dong and stuff like that. So I definitely think the Riddler's motivation has something to do with a political leader. Yeah, like maybe he's trying to make a stance about how like Batman is like a lie or something like that, or he's trying to expose Batman. Maybe well, I I don't know. Then who the heck is Dawn? Because the Riddler's against Dawn, but then the Riddler's trying to go against Batman too. Yeah. Do you think maybe we might see some other villains in this movie? Because I've heard... I didn't see him in the movie, I don't think. Unless maybe I'm wrong. But are Pen they going to show uh, the Penguin and stuff like that? Okay. Yeah, I was wondering that too. I've, I've heard of rumors of that. And that would be pretty cool. We, we've been yeah. a long time without the Penguin. And the Penguin is really a character that should have been introduced more. Yeah, because we've only gotten one movie interpretation of him in the Tim Burton Batman. Yeah. Uh which... Which was which, 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 that was a good movie. That was. Yeah, I that actually really like Batman and Batman the last Returns. Good Batman, till the two thousands. Yeah, once yeah, we, yeah, like we got Batman, we got Batman Returns, which were both good, and then we got Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, which were terrible. <laughs> Batman and Robin. And, and then basically Christopher Nolan came in and said, hey, this is how you do Batman, and just kind of took the role by storm with his trilogy, which is, you know, yeah. fantastic. But I'm yeah. actually looking forward to this Batman. I actually really am. I think that Robert Pattinson's Twilight days are behind him, and he's really trying to, like... Yeah, he's in Tenet. Yeah. So he yeah. definitely has worked with Christopher Nolan before this next movie's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he's really kind of turning things around, and I think he has. A, I think he's a good bat. He's, he looks good in the suit. I'll give him that. He looks really so. good in the suit. I, I think really, it's the ugliest suit I've seen in a Batman. Really? Yeah. I actually think it looks pretty cool, but that's your taste, and that's perfectly cool. But I think it looks pretty cool. I think what Robert Pattinson really nails, and I know this is kind of maybe weird thing to bring up, but he really has that jawline. That's like really definitive, you know, yeah. like. Mm -hmm. uh, and he knows the voice, unlike Christian Bale. He actually oh. got the Batman voice right to me. Really? I, I thought he sounded just like Christian Bale. No, Christian Bale looks like, sounded like he had throat cancer or something. <laughs> this, this, uh, I, I thought this Batman voice sounded a bit better. Yeah. Um, what do you think of this Batmobile? Yeah, Even it, though we didn't see that much of it. It looks nice. It's it's definitely more Batman-ish than the Christian Bell one. The Christian Bell one, there were replicas of in the movie, so it was more like a military weapon. Which, I gotta give props to the Christopher Nolan Batmans. They were more realistic than any of the other Batmans. Yeah. I, I, I kind of thought the Tumblr was kind of over the top, though, for me personally. I, I like my... Uh... My Batmobiles to be a bit less tankish, if that makes sense. A bit more like. Well, that, that's that's what I meant by more realistic. If there was a Batman in real life, I think they would be using a military type vehicle and not some weird comic book type. Yeah, I get what you're saying, and in the context of Nolan's universe, it definitely makes sense. But in, in Batman form, yeah, most Batmobiles are better than the Christian Bell one. So this, this yeah. new one definitely looks good. 
yeah. I think my favorite on-screen Batmobile was the, uh, the Tim Burton Batman mobile. Yeah, I love that one. I, I yeah. love that one. The, uh, the one from the animated series looks pretty cool, too, though, yeah. so. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this Batman in general. I think it has a good tone for it. We definitely I think. need to see it in theaters. I agree. I agree. Uh, so, what, what are your overall thoughts on the Batman trailer? Well, at first I absolutely hated it. Um, now I only somewhat hate it. Only somewhat? What do you not like about it? It feels like Justice League, and it feels like Batman vs. Superman. But now we have a new Batman, so I think they need to start fresh. They are starting fresh, though. Yeah, but the feeling's the exact same, Justin. So what you're saying is it gives you the vibe of like the what you didn't vibe, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But... Then again, DC is the more dark universe now than it used to, so I, I think that that's perfectly fine, but from how they've been making these dark movies, they've been failing at all of them, that they just need to start making good dark movies, and I mean, this might be the movie that has that dark feeling that will actually be good for once, that can start setting their tone in a way where they can make all their movies good with it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think cool. that DC is really turning around, and hopefully this Batman movie and Black Adam and the Snyder Cut will be good. So. Yeah, definitely. I'm ready for that. Well, I, I don't know if the Zack Snyder Cut will be good, but since it's longer, I'm definitely going to watch it. Yeah. Uh, I'm... I, I'm I, I'm keeping my HBO Max subscription just be just because I know it's coming out next year. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But there's a lot of good things on HBO Max anyway. Actually, I'm really happy with the library that that yep. the movies that they have on there. Yep. Anyway, this is not a commercial for HBO Max. This is the talk about the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else you have to say? Not really. Uh, I think the, the projects I'm most curious about is the Snyder Cut and the new Batman. But yeah. I do think that Suicide... I mean, not Suicide Squad. Uh, Wonder Woman 1984 is going to be pretty entertaining. I think Black Adam has a lot of potential. But Snyder Cut and Batman are the ones I'm most excited about. Yep, same. All right. Well, All right. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we will talk to you guys later.